So we've just put some chili pepper seeds on. Huh? Chili peppers. Chili peppers? We're going to try and grow them, aren't we? Uh -huh. Can you get a wipe and wipe your face? It's really dirty. Oh. Okay. Go inside because it's cold out here. It's swell, Peppa. Right, Daisy. I'll put the vines in the ground along here in a row. I tried different things. And last year I failed on all the vines other than three. And M3 rooted over the last year. Whereas the buckets I did of these, because we went to England, all died. So this year, I've loosened the soil up prepared the ends and this row I just put directly into the soft soil next to the potatoes then they'll have a bit of shade from the potatoes in the, in the hot sun later on in the summer <coughs> oh and I've done another line of potatoes Daisy and I've done carrots over there I'm sure everyone wants carrots so let's see I've also found some black corn. I'm going to just put directly in the ground and see if it grows. We don't know. Might grow, might not. I've got to get rid of all that bushy stuff there. And then there's that cabbagey one. That cabbagey one they should grow in the Philippines. Maybe they do grow that in the Philippines. I've not seen it. I'll take some of that to uh, Auntie Tuna and Auntie Dana when we go. But anyway. Let's see if the chili peppers grow, because that's um, one of our plans to grow a lot of chilies. We like chilies. Maybe we'll become a, a chili farmer. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lots and lots of chilies. <laughs> oh, oh, bless me. Every variety in the world. So if anyone out there watches our videos, has any... Uh, rare chili seeds be lovely if you posted them to daisy and then she'll repost them to us out here okay just inbox daisy for the address if you could be so kind and send lots of chilies and then we could put chilies everywhere literally everywhere go a whole oh, there you go whole chili farm then the chilies with the olives and we can have chili olives the olive oil Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. All in time. Not the healthiest person, so... <laughs> it's a little bit at a time with me. Which is probably good, because I'm... such a newbie to my gardening stuff. I remember doing the banking when I was little. But the vines watched on YouTube all the different varieties of ways of doing it. Seems to be just cut them off, stick them in the ground, hope for the best. And then we see in a few months time whether they rooted or not. I suppose when I dig the potatoes up, whatever that is. And they've all grown and ready for harvesting. I think I'm gonna put the corn in them potato buckets. what we do today put some more vines in I'm gonna start digging down the bottom across there and putting the vines in every meter I'm gonna put two every meter and then got a 50% chance of it working on one of the vines aren't we if we're lucky we get both vines grow but if not we've got one and then we can move them about along there yeah all in time got the tape measure time's at about one o'clock got a bit of paris up at four as you can see the day today daisy it's a bit chilly isn't it? well not chilly chilly it's just murky not the best day the weather 
the oranges are slowly going as we eat them. Kids eat loads of them. Maybe I up them ones though. My little babies. Anyway, let's put this in my little grow. My little grow place. Oh. So that's my chili. Chili, chili, chili. some water later. These are uh, coriander. So I'll put some in there that we'll see if they how they grow. And then I'm gonna put some directly in. These ones, I'm not sure what they were. <laughs> not sure. Oh these, let's see if these grow. These are old tomato, giant giant tomatoes. Daisy dried them ages ago. I don't don't think they grow, but we shall see. People say seeds last for a long time, so we'll just see. See if they grow. And later on, this go this this field here with this barn, a little house. It's growing. That's next doors. It goes all the way down to the houses down the bottom there. It's a lovely growing plot, and the couple is quite old, so maybe, maybe one day we'll be able to buy that bit. Yeah, all in time. That's the one I nearly broke my neck down there. Oh. Actually, today's the first day my neck's feeling alright. Alright, what else is there today? Got a compost heap here. I'm gonna put every every meter going all the way up through for the vines and see how they go. I've got old vines here. I'm not sure whether that one grew last year. I don't know. We went down this part of this field because it was the ladies last year. It's our first season here with the with the weather. Yeah. See that grass has come out nice now. I left the other one on the bottom. I haven't done that one yet. Lots to do. Oh, anyone wants to rent our caravan? Anyone wants to try Portugal? Old, old caravan we got. I'd sell it, but I don't think we'll ever get it up the hill again. I did think maybe we could take it down through there. But then there's a tree over there I'd have to kill to get it get it down and then I have to dig the driveway. I just think about it. So it definitely ain't going up the hill unless I get a really big tractor to pull it. But then at least reversing, turning around the other way. Hmm. All in time. So so far today and this this week we've got carrots. We've got the vines, we've got some more potatoes in. Got that cabbagey thing over there, whatever that is. Then we've got that other cabbagey thing. And then all along here, I'll do different lines of different seeds and see what see what grows. See what grows. So I'm really not sure what will grow and what won't. Especially underneath the orange tree. Some people said it might be too acidy. So but the granny had all different things in here like this, so we'll see. Anyone else try to grow things underneath an orange tree? Because <sighs> the compost here is, is oh, it's lovely. Lovely and composty. Don't need to buy any compost, it's really composty. Mm. I think we've got the mains electric on today because the solar's not on. No, nope, not today. My girls are in there. Look at me. I've got loads of vines to attempt to grow. So hopefully some of them will. Ah, this is another thing we're going to try today. We're going to try and grow, I think, an olive tree. Let's put this on the olive tree over there and see how that goes. No, nope, never ever grown anything like this before, but we shall see. Let's get my tape. Let's take one of them. 
and let's go and see now how and if I can do this. Um, what do I need? I need a oh, step on my carrots. <laughs> hope the kids don't step on the carrots. Um, what do I need? I think I need some some nice get some nice fair tile. It's a nice fat soil. Let's go and have a look. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Not sure the video will stay on. Actually, if I put it over here. You might get to see a little bit of where I'm going to try and do this. Let's have a look. Let's see. There we are. See if this works. Let's put let's put it up there. See like that. Yeah. And then it closes up like that, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, let's have a look. Let's see if we can do it today. Things. Hoping we could boost the whole trees. Let's have a look. First attempt. <laughs> First attempt. Alright. Let's close that like that. if it works. Maybe we'll be sick please. Yeah. Let's have a look. So let's give it a few months and see whether or not that turns into its own little olive.
the sea. See if it roots. <laughs> Our first ball, Daisy. Root balls, I think they call them. Root balls. That's going to be awesome if it works. Ah, I know what I need to do. I need to get some wire to close that off. You know why? Because... Oh, it goes into there. Oh, no, we're learning. 